technology and acoustic guitars have not always gotten along very well, but the times they are a changing and the new wave of IR technology seems to be taking off. Although IR is becoming more accepted and prevalent, it isn't all that new. Today, I want to demo and talk about the OG of acoustic IR, the Fishman Aura. I like to get right into the demo on the front end of these videos and then do most of the talking afterwards so that those of you who just want to pop in and, and hear what the gear sounds like, you can do so and then move along. Don't bore us, get to the chorus, right? The Fishman Aura has been around for nearly 20 years and the original model, which looks like this, was discontinued I think in 2012 and replaced by the version that I have. Prior to owning this one, I had one of the smaller Fishman Aura 16 pedals. It had the IR image selection 
and, and blending, but, but not any of the other features of this one, like uh, the EQ and the compression and the anti-feedback. All right, before we talk about the imaging, I just wanna say that this one knob compression is the best compression I've ever used on, a, on acoustic guitar. It's really quite incredible. It's a VCA style compressor. It's based on the over easy setting in those old DBX 160s or 163s. And it just works really, really well with acoustic guitar. It even sings out in a really musical way. It doesn't give you um, that, well, overly compressed sound. Um, if I ever move on from this pedal, I think I'm gonna miss that feature alone quite a bit. For those of you who don't know, uh, an IR or impulse response is like a, a filter that gets applied to the pickup signal and it contains uh, information that represents the difference between what your guitar pickup sounds like and what a mic in front of that guitar sounds like. I'm a visual learner, so let's do a little elementary uh, color lesson here. So your guitar pickup is represented by the color yellow. And the sound of that guitar recorded with a mic is represented by the color green. So the job of the IR, in this case the Fishman Aura, or any IR really, is to get from yellow to green. So it creates a filter. And in this case, yep, you guessed it, blue. So you take yellow, your guitar, and you put the blue over it, the IR, and the result is green, the sound of your guitar mic'd. There are three things, I think, that lead to some pretty easy frustration with this pedal, and, and the reason for a lot of bad experiences. First, the Aura technology is designed to be used with under saddle style piezo pickups, and it has uh, significantly less effectiveness with a magnetic pickup or a body mount pickup or a bridge plate pickup. That said, um, I've actually had pretty good results with my um, guitar that has a trans audio amulet pickup. This is a soundboard transducer. I don't know if I just got lucky or maybe if it's because I use it really, really sparingly with that guitar, but it, it does actually work with it. The second thing is finding the right image. I think a lot of people just try out the preloaded images on the pedal, and when none of them work out all that well, they give up on it. Part of me can't blame them. There is something to be said about a product that just works out of the box for most people. I'm not sure this is one of those products, but if you are willing to take the time with it and find the right image, it can be great. So you download the Aura library to your computer and you can search for your exact model guitar. And if there are images for it, you can load those into the pedal and try them out. If your model guitar is not in the library, you can search by, by body style and by woods uh, to try to find a good match for your guitar and then load those into the pedal and, and see how they work. It's a little bit of trial and error. And what works for one guitar is not gonna automatically work with a different guitar, even if they're the same style of guitar. The third thing I think trips people up is using uh, a too high of a blend of the IR. With the Aura, I find anything above 50% is just not, not super great. When I use this with guitars that have under saddle pickups, 30 to 40% it seems to be the sweet spot. With the Trans Audio Amulet, I'm usually using even less. And this is in a live setting, not, not necessarily recorded direct like I'm doing today. I know Fishman used to offer a service where you could send them your guitar and they would create an Aura image for your guitar. And in this case, I think you could blend in as much as you want. This is what um, artists like Jason Isbell does. He uses it, I think at 100%, because the images that he's using are of his actual guitar. 
This is where some of the new IR pedals come into play. Pedals like the Tone Dexter and the Voice Print allow you to create an IR using your own guitar and pickup. And this trades in searching and selecting from a library of images that may or may not work to creating an IR that, that really should work because it's your guitar and your pickup and you're miking it in your room. So I do think the future is more in line with Tone Dexter and Voice Print than maybe the current version of Aura that we have. All right, that's all today.